Hey guys, welcome to Tube Tuesday. As you know, I'm always on top of anything that YouTube does to change its site or anything that it can add uh, to make you a better YouTuber or anything that the site does. That's something you could take advantage of. As you probably know if you've been to YouTube lately, and I guess you are because you may be watching this video, unless you're watching it on like your mobile phone or your tablet, is that YouTube last week had a major makeover on the site. And right off the bat, what you'll notice is the videos are bigger. Um, and this is on Chrome. Uh, the videos are bigger. And the descriptions, the title, the video title, and the description have actually moved down lower. It's moved under it instead of on top. The old days, of course, you had the video title up here, then the video. Now everything's moving more to the top of the page. Um, that may not necessarily uh, impact what you necessarily have to do, but it's just something you may notice because YouTube's trying to push the video up higher, um, obviously just to get more visibility to what's going on with the video. And the other major change that's probably even bigger than this really is this little guy right here, the guide. Um, now YouTube rolled out the guide last week and of course there's a new and it says this is your guide, access your channel, playlist, subscriptions and more. Got it. And as soon as you click got it, I'm pretty sure it'll stop showing this little tab here. But here, this is basically what's happening with guide. If you click on guide, it has a lot of stuff that you have on your own channels like your watch it later, your history, your playlist messages, stuff like that. But there's an emphasis on your subscriptions here. And that's what YouTube is moving toward. They're moving toward a subscription channel centric model away from videos. They want people to subscribe to channels because they realize that, hey, that keeps people on the site and the regular feed, the people who actually engage more with the site are the ones who subscribe to channels and create their own channels. So you already have a channel, of course. Um, some of you have very populated your channel with content. Some of you aren't. Some of you subscribe to a lot of channels. Some of you subscribe to nothing. But as a YouTuber that wants to get noticed, and it's probably why you're watching this video, these are, this is a rank, and YouTube doesn't actually tell you how the rank is done right now. It's not alphabetical. It's not even who had the most recent upload. Um, I sort of checked that. Um, I'll get on it, and I'll see if I can find out what it is. But a lot of times it's a combination of stuff that you've liked in the past, uh, videos you've watched lately, um, and, all, and new activity. And you have the, the names of the channels, and you have the latest activity. So... By new activity, it's not just uploaded a video. It's if you like a video, if you comment on something. So these, some of these new activities um, can be just as if you don't have uploaded a video. If you're just active on YouTube, it'll boost these little new activity tabs on you. Uh, if you're making comments on people's videos, if you're liking videos. And of course, you probably know this by now, but liking your own video, it's not a conceited thing. You can be humble and modest and still like your own video. And that's important because after you upload it, and then you can wait a day or two to like it, it brings it back up into people's feeds that want to see the videos that you like. So that's something to get noticed. And another thing that YouTube's telling people last week, uh, your your avatar, um, you know, you know, the little picture you use for 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 your channel. Make sure you take advantage of it. You know, going through here, the, you know, the, the subscription channels. Most of them have it, but some of them, you know, are, are you know not necessarily that original, that inventive, or that magnetic. Uh, so try to make sure you have a good avatar which is basically your YouTube thing right here they're small but later on when you go to different channels they show big in size um, another thing that YouTube has done is when you're looking up the videos now they have uh, and I don't know if I could pull it up here right uh, but they basically have more of the description now within channels so it's no longer about just the the title video title um, and a little bit of the description they, they're giving you 45 characters so the first 45 characters of your of your of your channel avatar rather uh, and more of your product of your uh, video description is actually showing there. So populate these fields. You know, you can describe your channel because it's going to help people find it. Make sure you have good descriptions for your titles. And an, another important point, and I guess this is my last important point about this new guide that came out. It's not related to the guide at all. It's an interesting tip that uh, YouTube just, I guess, revealed. And this is, an, and I have it here, quote, make sure titles lead with the most compelling keywords. And that's basically telling you, from now on, every Tube Tuesday, I will never start a video by titling it Tube Tuesday dash, um, you know, the new YouTube guide or, or uh, you know, five ways to navigate the YouTube, you know, YouTube for uh, the Tube Tuesday thing first. Leave the branding for the end. Get what you want to do right at the very front because those words and YouTube is telling you as specifically as, as, as they, can, they can right now that the title itself, they're putting more weight in the beginning of the title than they are at the end. So a lot of people, you can put a long title for a video and hope that it helps with all the keywords in there, 
but YouTube's gonna place, a, place an emphasis on the first few words. So if something's trending, if something's hot, and you wanna cash in and capitalize on it, make those keywords, and hopefully you have a video related to it, and you're not just trying to cheat people to come check out your video, because then they'll give you a thumbs down, that'll drop you down. Um, make sure that you have these titles in your titles, the very beginning is what you need to do to make it strong, to, to, to draw people in, because that's what's gonna show up in the search box. So that's it for this Tube Tuesday. Um, I hope you're all having a merry December, and I will see you next week for another Tube Tuesday installment. I wonder if YouTube's gonna have something new then.